today's story time is going to be how I ended up in the back of a cop car. How your girl. Don't let me out. Don't let no, I didn't get that far deep into the, the system. I just got put in the back of a cop car. How might you ask? Well, if you guys have not watched my paranormal experiences video, it kind of sums up the very beginning of what happened was. So go ahead over there. The link will be right up here in the information bubble or it'll be below. Click that, watch that video, and then come back to this so that you're caught up, girl, and you sipping this tea with me, okay? While I go down memory lane, okay? So what had happened was, fast forward through all the ruckus, and ish you know your girl was sneaking out okay your girl was sneaking out she was in them streets she was in it heavy, like she was heavy, heavy. Okay, heavy, 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 real heavy, heavy, D heavy. I thought I, I don't know who I thought it was. I thought I was grown. I really did. I thought I was grown. I was 15. I just turned 15. I thought I was grown. I was running these streets like, what? What's up? I snuck out. I snuck out my last sneak out of all sneak outs. Okay, I snuck out and I got caught. When my mom was calling me, okay, and I'm like, no, that's it, it's over. I might as well chalk it up to homelessness because your girl is homeless. Once my black mother found out that I had been sneaking out, I wasn't taking no chances again, no ass whooping. I wasn't taking no chances of coming up dead, okay, y'all know I think I'm cute, so I'm not trying to be anybody casket, all right? Dead makeup is not cute, is not on fleek, and I wasn't trying to be powdered down at 15. I wanted to be young, black, and free. I was like, I'm not going home. I don't care what she say. I don't care how many times she call me. I don't care how many people she get to call me. I am not going home people in philly calling me my family members in philly calling me i said i'm not coming home. she's not coming home. i want to do what y'all want to do y'all can fly out here y'all can come find me but you're not gonna find me because i'm not coming home my dumb ass stays with said boyfriend at the time my mom found out where said boyfriend lives i don't know how she found this out because like i said we went to different schools and we really weren't close like my mom never met him in person before and we just weren't close like that so i don't know how my mom was pregnant at the time so i was just like she's not you know i'm not trying to stress her out to have to hand me this ass whooping this foot up my ass so i'm just not gonna do it i'm not trying to make my little baby sister premature i'm not trying to do it fast forward she found me she found out where he lived she called the cops my mother called the cops on me so Cops came, I looked at the blinds, I was like, ooh, 5 -oh. whoop, whoop, they here, uh-oh, the boys, like, what am I supposed to do? So, I do what anybody does, any black person does when they see the cops, and they're doing something wrong, and they're breaking laws, and, you know, whatnot, I ran. Don't look at me like that, okay, do not look at me like that, because I'm sure plenty of y'all ran from the cops before, sips tea, I ran, I resent, I light on that ass okay I was gone so said cops weren't very good cops I might add because they were kind of heavy set all right they weren't up to the challenge of chasing a teenage young Ming you know what I'm saying like they weren't ready for the chase I don't know how if they couldn't chase me I'm damn sure they couldn't chase the criminals out there who've been criminalizing all their damn lives they'd be running track they'd be ready for this criminal life okay they'd be about this thug life so I don't know how he thought that he could be a cop in this area I'm just I mean well technically in the area it wasn't that bad on crime so I guess I guess I, I guess I understood but he had one too many donuts I'm gonna say that and through the back right I ran to the back I was I was floating I was floating ran to the back my boyfriend at the time just stood there he stayed in the house I mean it was his house he just stayed there like bruh so once I started running I ran to the, to the backyard and I went to a fence and it was a fence like it was fenced in I couldn't go anywhere else and I stood there and I thought I had a whole conversation with myself I said Susan is 
is it worth it? Should you jump this fence? Cause you know I was, huh, you know black people, we can jump fences in a quick minute. So I was ready, I was, huh, foot was up, woo, foot was up in the air. I was ready to jump this fence, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, no, because where am I gonna go? I have nowhere to go. Like I have nowhere to go. I was homeschooled at the time. I didn't have that many friends. All I really had was my boyfriend. I'm running from his house and I can't go back there because you know, 5-0, the feds, they were surrounding his house. I thought I was a whole criminal. I know they surrounded his house. They got helicopters putting down the little signals and the lights and things. I can't come back here. It's, I can't do it. I can't go back to the trap house. I can't. I was like, I'm done. So I'm looking at the fence and I'm like, I could jump over this fence, but then I'm really, really homeless. And I'm really not sure if I'm about this homeless life. I might have said yes, I'm going to be homeless. But at the time, I was in somebody's house and I was being fed, okay? I don't think I was about that homeless life at that moment. I was like, let me reevaluate. This whole situation, I think I want to go home. I think that I want to lay in the bed, okay, and have a nice warm blanket, electricity, water to wash my ass. I'm not sure that I'm about this homeless life. Literally, I kid you not, I had this whole conversation with myself by the time this man caught up to me. He was that slow and that, we're going to call him ch just chunky. Not We're not going to call him fat, we're just going to call him chunky because you can get rid of some chunk. He comes around a corner, right? He comes around a corner like this. <laughs> you know what? Since you made me run, you're going to jail. You're going to jail now. You going to jail. So he turns me around. I turn around. I'm like, turn me around. He handcuffs me. And I proceed to be pushed to his vehicle. I'm walking by my mom, walking by my boyfriend. I'm like, I'll see you in 10 years. I get in his car and first of all, can I make a complaint to like, I don't know, the sheriff's office or somebody because the back of a cop car is very teeny tiny. Okay, if I could not fit my whole legs, my little teenage legs in a car, I'm pretty sure some grown men, some hefty grown men, kind of like the cop, could not fit back there. There's no way. I don't know if they have adjustable seats or something, but literally when I tell you I had to sit sideways and put my feet up on the, the seat next to me, like I could not put my ankles in where my feet was supposed to be. I was like, well, I was appalled. I was like, I am gonna write a strong letter to somebody, okay? Because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Cop was like, shut up. I was like, I'm gonna be quiet. But when you get out of the cop car, I'm gonna be talking again. Cause I'm a rebel. He's asking me questions. He's like, how old are you? Um, you know, your birthday. I'm sitting in the back like. No, I, I ain't do all that. But I was sitting in the back like. I don't wanna answer no questions. Am I going to jail? Am I going, are you taking me to jail? You might as well just take me to jail then. Cause you taking me to jail, you might as well book me if you ask all these questions. You might as well, cause like, I mean what? I, am I going to jail? I, Ooh, yup, you're going to jail, you're going to jail. Yup, you, you shouldn't have ran away. I'm like, I didn't run away, I just snuck out. You don't understand, officer. I might as well go with you. Because if I go home, y'all gonna be going back to my house to arrest my mother for murder, okay? I, you don't understand. You're white, sir, you don't understand. So he's just like, whatever, writing stuff in his little booklet or whatever he was jotting down or in his computer, whatever he was doing in the front, I couldn't see because of how smizzle this back seat was. Well, I guess they don't want you to feel comfortable in at home, but I'm saying like, could I just get a little bit of foot space? Like just a little bit? Is that too much to ask? So my mom comes over and he's like, he gets out the car and he's basically, I guess he asked her, do you want to press charges? Like, do you want me to take her down to juvenile hall? What do you want to do? And my mom was like, I will take her home. So. I got out the car, I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right, I'm free. They set me free, I'm on bail, that's right, that's right, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all, when I see y'all, I'm done, I did my time. So he unhooks the handcuffs, and y'all, it hurt so bad, I was just like, whatever. <laughs> Or whatever. I was ready. I was ready to write this letter. This this was the most disrespect I have ever felt in my life. Long story short, I get home. I get my punishment. I get grounded. I get beat up, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I got in trouble. After that, 
they snatched everything. They may as well, if I would've had a wig, they would've snatched my wig, okay? They took my clothes. When I say they took my clothes, they took my clothes, y'all. I was wearing stuff from House on the Prairie. I could only wear those long jean skirts and a simple shirt, that was it. They took all my fashionableness stuff. They took jewelry, they took lip gloss. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup back then. They took lip gloss, they took books. I was a hood book type of chick. That's probably why I got in trouble. It's probably where I got all these crazy ideas from. But I was a hood book type of chick. Took my books. Okay. They made me write for punishment. They just did the utmost. Okay. I was already homeschooled because I have been skipping school. Okay. So I was already homeschooled. So they just took school. They took everything. They took everything. I didn't even need pockets. She took everything. After that. I had Christmas, right? Christmas came up because this all happened in the summertime. And well, it happened in, no, yeah, it happened in the summertime. And then that's why they took school because it was the last straw between me skipping school and sneaking out. And then so, yeah, I was just like, okay, I'll take my punishment. I'll do that. You know, I'll be, I'll be the dog about mine. I'll take my punishment. <sighs> Y'all, Christmas came up. They gave me my presents, everything I wanted, everything I asked for, they gave it to me. They watched me open it, get really excited. I was like, oh, an iPod. Oh my gosh. They got so excited, right? They watched me open everything. My mom said, thank you. Slid it all back. Took all my gifts back. All my gifts back. That I, that day I said, deuces, I'm done. That's it. I ran away for good. That's Well, not for good. I came back. But I only ran away for like a day or two. I went to one of my friend's house. And I was like, I'm not coming back. But I came back. Because, of course, I have to. I have to eat and live and whatever. Then I did my time. Then I did my real time. My punishment was to be homeschooled my whole sophomore year. <sighs> Y'all. I'm going to get it back with Mimi. I know I am. I'm going to get it back full force. Look, I'm naked and everything. It was serious. It was serious. I was serious in these streets. Let me know if you guys like this story time. Thumbs it up and you'll get more story times. I have a lot of them. Trust me. Hey. I'll talk to y'all another day and another note and let me go edit some other vlogs and, and such, you know. Let me just go. Let me just get myself together. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Peace.